Dolores Kennedy woke to a cold house this morning. She lost power yesterday around 1.30 in the afternoon. Not good. <laughs> We're freezing in there. We're frozen in that house. <laughs> no heat, no electric, nothing. Everything I have in my house is all electric, so. Oh, it's horrible. The high winds knocked down two power lines over the salt marshes that carry electricity to Hampton Beach. Unitil decided it would be quicker to complete a third line that was already under construction than fix the other two. Any restoration is a significant undertaking. So we, our crews have been working a long time. They worked overnight. Uh, I credit our engineers for thinking outside the box, for finding a different way to get this done. The car is like frozen in. Helen Morgenstern spent part of her morning trying to hack out her car so she could move it into the sun. Well, it's been all right up until now. This is like Alaska today. I never saw so much ice. A few miles west in Brentwood, they got socked with 20 inches of snow. Paul Drapanotis was raking some of that off his roof this afternoon. It's New Hampshire. It's New England, you know. It is what it is. That's all. It just comes. Take care of it. The Unitil officials that we spoke with just a short time ago said that they hope to have power back on within the next half hour, hour, maybe a little bit longer to most of the people here. They said the line is fixed and they're just testing it to make sure it's okay to go live. Reporting live in Hampton Beach, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.